So I've been pretty much obsessed with wine doors, humidors, all kinds of cigar gadgets for years, and I have a whole wall of wine doors over there. But today we have a New Air wine door in the package. So I've been using New Air humidors for years. So I've had this one for a couple, four years. This one I've had for about five years. And then this one down here I use for pipe tobacco. I've had that for about six or seven years. And so I'm kind of obsessed with humidors. So when New Air reached out to me, I said, heck yes, let's review another one. They, they kind of update them every few years. Oh, this one has a cool cover on it. Look at that. <laughs> that is nice. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. So this is the new Cigar Club 250 count electric humidor. Now, the reason why we like humidors in Arizona is because it gets really hot. And so even inside, it gets to about 78 in the summer. So having one of these guys should make my cigars way cooler. And this even comes with custom drawers already. So this is kind of nice. It's a little bit smaller than my other ones. However, I think you could easily get 100 cigars right in here. And it comes with a nice little key so you can keep the kids out. What do you guys think about this? Republica de Cuba, cigar bar, kind of has an edgy look to it. That won't be for everyone, but that is kind of unique looking. It's not just basic silver. The inside, it looks pretty basic. We have one, two, three drawers. So you could probably put three or four boxes of cigars in there. Maybe about a hundred, I'd guess. And it has a nice little uh, stop. One of my other uh, gripes about the other ones were when you pulled out, they, they didn't stop. They just kept pulling out. This one seems to have a hard stop, which is really nice, so your cigars won't fall out. And right here, see, it, it stops right there. There's a catch. And then it has a nice little digital hygrometer. And on the bottom, what I would put, I would put like some sort of water device in the bottom, just to give it a little extra humidity. But really, the, the simplicity of this is it's plastic on the lining. So it doesn't really take a lot of setup. Like, pretty much you're good to go, pretty much right out of the box. And then the front, you can see we have some basic controls up, down, and the cool part about these are they actually have a little heating element, so if it does get cold, like in the winter, you can actually keep this thing, you know, warm as well. So right around 67 is where I keep my stuff, and then we have a little baby light. Look at that, that's kind of nice. Instead of the blue light, we have a little white light. Like I was saying, set up as a breeze. This is a pretty standard sized box of cigars. I would literally just put this right on the bottom like that. Bunch of these guys. Like this is kind of how I would set this up. I think I'll use this for like my overflow of boxes and things like that. Yeah, little Cubans right there. And so, you know, maybe in the future, I'll use this for all my overflow stuff. Like I was saying for years, I've been using these products and you can see I have kind of like a little setup here. Generally, I use Govi uh, Wi-Fi hygrometer it looks kind of blue on camera, but you don't see that in real life. But this is kind of nice. It gives me accurate readings on my phone and it tells me the temperature and all that. This is a cigar oasis and it shoots humidity throughout the whole entire wine door here. Right here is some smart LEDs. I'll put a link to this as well. And I just hot glue them to the inside and it kind of looks cool. You know, you don't have to do that. For me, I think it's kind of neat and it kind of gives it some extra pizzazz. But same kind of setup in a smaller package with this new humidor. You can see right here, you pull that tab and that should activate it. There you go. And we'll just peel this off right here. Look at that, easy as that. I use Boveda 72s. The secret to setting these up is to not overfill it. You know, you want to have some good airflow. You want to have some good sort of exchange of air. Otherwise you, you can get kind of mold. But if it's too empty, like my big humidor is too empty, it's harder to maintain humidity. And so you kind of want to balance. So if you are going to get one of these, I would recommend it for about a hundred cigar collection. If you want a bigger humidor, like the one I have over there, I would say that needs about 200 cigars. And that's a lot of cigars for one person. So I only have about a cigar or two a week. So, and I only age cigars for about four, three to four years, you know. So really this is probably all I'll ever need at most. And it's gonna maintain humidity a little bit better, I think. And so it's kind of nice, but this is about how I load it up. I use these Boveda Pack 72s. That's what I recommend for most people. They have 69s and those are good as well. And you wanna keep the, the Boveda Pack, like you want, them, you want them to all be the same. And then I just use distilled water. I put these in distilled water every few months, let it fill back up and I reuse them. They're pretty awesome. Also. These Cuban Jose Piedras, super affordable, super delicious. I recommend those. And if you're interested in my favorite like everyday cigar, it's these Charter Oak Naturals, like Connecticut shade. Definitely recommend Charter Oaks. People always ask me what's my best cigar. It's probably right now this Davidoff Chef. Very expensive, very nice. I just got this as a birthday present. Very nice cigar. I'll save that for later. This is actually my wedding cigar. This is a Liga Privada T52. 
It's probably almost 10 years old by now, so I'm saving that for a very special day. These are just some Cuban Romeo y Julietas, nothing fancy there. And then for like dog walking, I use some of these Cohiba little guys, Cohiba shorts. But this is kind of like a good setup. You know, most people will have 20 to 30 cigars, maybe nicer stuff in the drawer. And, and they're good to go. This should be like all you ever need. Currently in my big humidor, I have a drawer full of these Nico Rusticas. Bought them years ago. They're pretty good, pretty strong. And then I have a lot of these Oliva Series Vs. And so if I don't know what to smoke, I'll just go with one of these or maybe a Kentucky Fire Cured. But really that's kind of like the standard stuff. It's not like my good stuff. I might even put the good stuff in the drawer now. So here's what I was thinking. I could put this drink, a uh, wine door under my desk under here. And then I could put all of my big boxes right here. And then the little humidor over here could be uh, stackable on top of this. So that could be the setup. Like these are easily stackable as you can see. And what do you guys think about this design? Do you guys think it's kind of cool? Do you think it's kind of overrated? Let me know. Since I have all the silver ones and black ones over there, I think this one doesn't match as well, but I think if it was by itself, it would look pretty good. Like I said, these are stackable. They're easy to access. They're easy to lock. They keep my cigars perfect. I've had them for like eight or nine years. And so when New Air reached out to me, I was very excited to try out this. And um, also when it comes to cigars, like I just like to put them in. I don't like to set it up. And so if you're someone who likes to keep it super easy, definitely tr check these out. Yes, they're expensive, but I've never had a problem. And so if you have a thousand dollar cigar collection, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, if you just have like 10 cigars, you know, use some Tupperware or something, but this is definitely worth it. If you guys have any questions, I have a, a coupon code down there. You can save some money if you want to buy one. Also check out more videos on how I installed LEDs over here and my other wine door video over here. Have a good night.